great victory tonight. You had a great presence on the inside. I guess the ankle is okay. Yeah, the ankle's 100%. You know, it's part of the intangibles of the game. You can't complain about anything. This is the finals, baby. Win or go home. Hey, Ebony, this is Cheryl Miller. First of all, just talk about how successful that not only yourself, but Sutton Brown, you guys have really imposed your will in the paint. Yeah, you know, we knew that their, their weakness was their, their post players, so we're going to try and go at them. Uh, we know they, they, they play a, a kind of a different type of defense. They, they like to bait you into doing stuff you don't want to do, but we just wanted to do the rim any way, any way we knew how. You know, this is a twofold question, uh, Ebony. First of all, the one thing that I was concerned about is when you lose a close game like you guys did in game one was how you guys were going to come back and respond, and you guys came out like fire. What was the mentality in practice yesterday? Uh, the mentality wasn't to change much but our defense. You know, I thought we played a, in a, an extremely good offensive game the other day, but the only thing that was lacking was our rebounding and, uh, and our man-to-man uh, -man defense. And today was a, was a testament of that. We just tried to, to uh, shore up some of the little things that, that were bothering us in the, in the other game and just uh, try to get the win that way. Ebony, you mentioned the rebounding was a key for you all. You did a great job on the boards tonight. You out-rebounded the Phoenix Suns. Did you take a personal responsibility to make sure that you all controlled the boards? Yeah, you know, we took it real personal, and we were uh, really disheartened by the fact that they beat us on the boards and that uh, a few of the things that hurt us towards the end was the offensive boards by Dewana Bonner especially, and uh, especially and Tarasi. So we really tried to do that today, and I think it showed in the, in the, in the end, end results. All right, Ebony, you know what? I'm a greedy person, so I'm looking at game one, and are you guys thinking or almost kicking yourselves like you guys could be, go, be going back to Conseco up two? Yeah, you know, we're real upset that we, we let that one slip through our hands. We kind of gift-wrapped it and put a little bow on top for that game. But, you know, we came out today with a little grit, a little bit more toughness and fight, and uh, we just tried to, to do something different. But we're going home to our home fans, sold out, so we're just ready to go and play a good game. Trojans in the house. Congratulations, kid. All right. Fight on, baby. Thank you, Ebony, for joining us. We appreciate it. Good luck in game three. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, well, Cheryl, we talked about a lot yeah. mm -hmm. off camera. So I want to hear your thoughts on what you thought was the big difference. You mentioned Tamika catching, yeah. taking over, mm -hmm. but what else helped with the uh, Fever winning this you game? You know what? The one thing that we spoke about and watching game one to game two was how these guys closed out each quarter. Mm -hmm. Now, you know that, you know, obviously Phoenix is always going to make a run. They have that type of explosion, but you know what? They weathered the storm. And Indiana came out with so much confidence and cockiness because they knew, like she said, they gift wrapped game one. Game two, they won this one. Going back at home with the crowd, it's going to be very interesting. That is going to be interesting. We'll still think it's going to be a game five. Okay, well, Cheryl, you, be you said five. that the last time, so we're, we're holding you to it now. Okay. It's official. This is the second time Cheryl's going on record. There's going to be five games in this WNBA final series. Okay. Could be interesting. It's going to be very interesting because, obviously, Phoenix is not going to lay down. No, they're not.